You could have, all right, come on. Step out. For what? Go ahead. Are you on probation for parole for anything? You're not? So you don't want to step out? I ain't got to. I'm asking you. You don't want to step out? And yeah, you know I ain't got to. Okay. Just refusing to step out. I ain't refuse nothing. I didn't answer none of your questions. Well, I'm asking you to say you don't have to. All right. Do you want to get out of your channel? Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. Today, we're going to take a look at a police department located in California, and we're going to look at how they use the case law, Pennsylvania versus men's. Are they really allowed to use this case law to order you out of the vehicle? Let's take a look at this. I don't want to be in the middle of the street. That's why this is a lot of fire. This is a heavy. So, okay. my probation, parole, anything like that, guys? Say that again. Are you on probation, parole, or anything, sir? What's your badge number? Yeah. 39948. What's your name? Officer Torres. Do me a favor, step out. For what? Huh? We're going to put that investigation. I'm straight. I ain't got to step out. Hey. Do me a favor, step out, bro. For what? I already told you, man. We're going to conduct an investigation. What well, investigation? Here. I'm what did we do wrong? It's a, it's, a, it's a traffic. It's a traffic. I know, my man. What, what happened? My partner's over here. No, what do we do? Why well, I got to step out? I, I already told you. We're conducting our investigation. For what? What crime do you suspect us of? Partners over there talking. I'm not gonna be over ain't here. Ain't no talking crime. To you. I'm right here. We'll go over with your partner. I ain't got nothing. I'm mean, driving. Man, why don't you want to step out? For Maybe what? Let's talk over here. I ain't gotta step out. Why not? For what? Tell me why. Pennsylvania versus Mims, my man. The court's decision in Pennsylvania v. Mims was primarily based on officer safety concerns and the need to prevent potential harm to law enforcement personnel during routine traffic stops. In a 6-3 decision, the court held that the search of Harry Mims did not violate Mims's right under the Fourth Amendment. The court noted that the officers had already detained Mims in order to issue him a traffic summons and felt that asking him to exit the vehicle was a minimal and reasonable intrusion of his freedom. Whether the search occurred inside or outside the car was irrelevant to the court. The officers had stopped Mims for a legitimate reason, and upon observing the bulge in his jacket, any person of reasonable caution would have conducted the search. Justice Thurgood Marshall wrote a dissenting opinion, arguing that the searches, in order to conform to the requirements of the Fourth Amendment, must relate to the reason for the stop. Because the officers had detained Mims for an expired license plate, searching him for a concealed weapon was not within the scope of the stop and therefore made it an unlawful search. Justice Paul Stevens, joined by Justices William Breenan and Thurgood Marshall, filed a separate dissent arguing that the majority opinion gave too much discretion to police officers, allowing them to search detainees whenever they could invent any basis for concern. Dissenting opinions are important because they provide alternative perspectives on legal issues, enriching the understanding and development of the law. They can also serve as persuasive or influential arguments for future cases and may contribute to the evolution of legal principles over time. You may state that these police officers are wrongly used in Pennsylvania v. Mims, which in a lot of cases they are. But there is also case law, Maryland v. Wilson, that state that cops can ask passengers to exit the vehicle. But remember, Rodriguez v. the U.S. states that police officers can only keep you on a traffic stop for as long as it takes them to write a citation or a warning. If they extend the stop, attempting to get the ID of the passenger and the passenger is not suspected of committing a crime, this, my friend, is a Fourth Amendment rights violation. File your complaint, your lawsuit, and make sure they never violate your rights again. I'm you could have, all right, come on. Step out. For what? Go ahead. Are you on probation parole for anything? You're not? So you don't want to step out? I ain't got to. I'm asking you. You don't want to step out? And yeah, you know I ain't got to. Okay. Just refusing to step out. I ain't refuse nothing. I didn't answer none of your questions. Well, I'm asking you to say you don't have to. All right. Do you want to get out of your channel? Man, fuck. I'm gonna get out the car for it. 
Damn. Oh. Put your phone down, my man. No. Do you have any weapons? No. I ain't gonna put my phone down. Why are you searching? I'm gonna pack them. I'm gonna pack them. I ain't got one. I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. My man, just put the phone hold, down. Hold my phone, man. Hold my phone. 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 Record me. Put your hands in the lock. Right? Yeah. 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 I want. I want. I want none now. Do you have an ID, sir? All right. Keep your hands right back. This video was a short video, but I believe any video that can provide any education on how to stand up for our rights is very important. Make sure you know your rights and make sure you always record the police. With that being said, we the People University signing off. Make sure you download Council Tyranny V2, the app. Beware of your basic rights when dealing with law enforcement. Our app is designed to help you deal with cops, learn your rights, and it gives you the convenience that you need when retrieving written communication like court cases at the drop of a dime. This comes in handy when there is no time to Google. Visit wethepeopleuniversity.com to download, available on Apple and Android.